It's, it's whatever your belief system is. Anything. Um, so, so when you go in and you begin to explore your belief system, for example, let's say that your belief system is, I can't have enough money. Now, there's plenty of money in the world, and it's all out there, and if you have the right belief system, you know, you can pull it in. It's, it's not that big a deal. And, but if you have a belief system, so let's say that we went into your belief system, and you, and you would start to clear and remove beliefs. I don't have enough money. I can't make enough money. I don't have the skills. There isn't enough money in the world for me to have money, blah, 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 blah. We would do all of that superficial, off-the-top stuff. And you would clear that off, and then you would begin to explore what about money? What is money? Well, people who have money, who have a lot of money, or who have sufficient money, aren't nice. They aren't motivated. They they uh, obtained it in a, a wrongful way. You know, whatever your belief system is, and you would start to clear this out, and you would just start to explore what your bottom line beliefs were about money. Um, People who have money or who have uh, money brings too much responsibility. If I have too much money, I'll have to take care of everybody else. Whatever your deal is about money, and you would just start to clear those and clear those and clear those. And when you start to clear that, money will start to open up. Money will come from surprising places. It will come from. Um, it will. It, it, suddenly the money you have will be enough, whatever it is. And, and so you just keep clearing out of your system and, and you can have it, you can do it about relationship, you can do it about um, creativity. Uh, and, and creativity is a hot one, you know, because you're, you know, um, you know, I can't get it together to do it. I don't know how to finish it, blah, blah, blah. I don't have the right techniques, et cetera, et cetera. And once you change your belief system, because you create your reality out of your consciousness and all that's attached to it, and when you clear that and it changes, I promise you, your reality will open up. Just that fast. It's amazing. And the world will just hand it to you. The, the consciousness, the subconscious mind where the belief system is installed, which is, you know, uh, on the glyph, it's coming out of Esad, it operates in two-dimensional reality. It cannot tell the difference between an actual event and a visualization. It can't tell the difference. That's why affirmations work. That's why you can get these changes if you can hold a vision about something. And, and so what we do is just begin to teach you how to go in there and access that and make those changes. It's stunning. You can have whatever you want and you just pull the plug on your, because people have life um, transforming events or change their consciousness often, often when the Pain of the past meets the fear of the future. That's when it happens. They have a heart attack, they develop, they manifest cancer, they have an automobile wreck, they, their parent dies, whatever, their de a child dies, whatever. Th and that, out of that event, the, the system, a, there's a, like a break in the system, energetically or psychically, and then change occurs. The person is never the same again. But you can go in with this system and incrementally make those adjustments without that kind of trauma. And there are other ways of, you know, that's the th whole theory behind therapy. That's what you're doing. But it is a very, um, you have to be, what is the word? Uh, very assiduous, is that the right word? Uh, about it. I mean, you can't, you have to be relentless. And it takes 20 years and $40,000 and hey, you're there. <laughs> but this is, the. But, not to say that this is not a lot of work, but, but it will work. It will work. You say, and what you say to people and how you approach it and how you approach this kind of work is you ask people, what do you want? What do you want? And they have to go in there and dig about what do they want, not what mom wants and not what society wants and not what you've been handed and told you can have. You know, I'd been told, well, you can ride a quarter horse. 
You're an American. You know, you can ride Appaloosas. You can ride thoroughbreds. But you can't ride a limousine there. Mm -mm. <laughs> you know, and, and we have that. And because of the society we're a part of and all of the things that are going on around us. And you can pull the plug on your own consciousness and do whatever you want to do. And people don't do that because, because it's, it's scary and it's uncomfortable and you have a whole different set of um, dynamics to deal with that you don't know how to deal with. So now you're going to look silly or foolish or yada de yada de. Does that make sense? You can, you can do anything. I've done all kinds of silly things. <laughs> and I promise you, the world, once your consciousness shifts, the world just says. And then it moves from supposed to to this is what I want. This is what I want. And then I clear the blocks, and then it just whew, 